Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna uh, show you some test prints I did with a couple of filaments I got from the maker box. The filaments I'm testing out in this video are uh, Protopasta Metallic HTPLA version 3 uh, with a Joel Telling uh, 3D Printing Nord uh, blue color metallic filament. Uh, and the other one is, is Form Futura uh, Crystal Flex filament. Uh, I did uh, several test prints and uh, I want to do a series of videos where I take two filaments out of the maker box and, and test them out and, and tell you about uh, my experience. The, the sample sizes are just enough to do two or three prints. Uh, and, uh, you get a chance to dial in uh, the filament to a certain degree. Uh, you can't uh, do much uh, uh, testing though, but uh, if you get uh, the instructions, most of the, the filaments uh, came with uh, uh, the temperature and, and speed and bed temperature settings. And, and like in the case of uh, the protoposter filament, I just dialed in uh, the temperature uh, in the between of the rains that was stated on the on the back, and, and that printed out quite well uh, for the form future uh, crystal flex. Uh, I had to print it at the maximum temperature and uh, with a heated bed. Uh, the form future sample just had this label but on their website there is a very good detailed um, list of settings for all their filaments so I could uh, uh, go there and, and see uh, settings like bed temperature and, and such and speeds so to start with uh, this is the, the protopasta filament and this is the Omnom model made by Sparky Face 5 it's a crazy a uh, good looking model and uh, the print came out absolutely perfect there's like no uh, problems anywhere in the print and uh, the metallic shine is is, is very good uh, i had no problem uh, printing with this filament uh, i just dialed in the temperature setting at 210 degrees uh, or 215 degrees uh, on my slicer software and so this print was absolutely beautiful uh, then I printed out my maker coin uh, it also came out perfect there's no errors or problems anywhere in it um, it was uh, going very well so I'm really happy with that uh, then I printed uh, this small model uh, uh, it's a cat model. Uh, it has uh, been a default model on, on the CR10 printer, I think. And in some cases, people had corrupted files, so the head would not print. But uh, this model was just downloaded from Thingiverse, and, and it came out really well. So uh, this filament is is super easy to get started with, and. It's absolutely beautiful uh, material. It's, uh, like you see, it's uh, shiny and it has a metallic uh, flakes in it, so it's really shiny. The other filament, uh, Form Futura Crystal Flex, uh, I had a bit trouble with that to start with. Uh, I was having difficulty to get it to fix. To the bed, but after I used the magic goo, magic goo uh, adhesive, uh, that worked really well. Uh, this filament needs a really heated bed. They recommend uh, 100 degrees on the heated bed, uh, and I, uh, in this case, I had uh, the, my fan active in the enclosure, so the enclosure temperature was uh, around 25 degrees or 26 degrees. And I had some splitting in the in the model, uh, 
Yeah, the, at the bottom also. Uh, this model was printed with zero infill, so it's hollow, hollow model. Uh, then I uh, tried to print my maker coin. Uh, I also had uh, splitting in that one you see here and actually it broke off the, the base so it, it stopped uh, working at this height so I had to cancel cancel the print and, and I uh, increased the temperature a little bit on the filament uh, and also had uh, turned off the fan in the enclosure so the enclosure would get warmer and I got this print uh, there was a, a splitting here also uh, but this is a really thin thin model um, and this was uh, a disappointment to get this uh, and finally I, I printed this model this one is is it's okay it's no problems in this model uh, it's a much thicker model and, and uh, what I changed I uh, at the temperature on the heat heated bed 200 I was printing at uh, 75 degrees with this one so this was one printed with 100 degrees uh, and that seemed to be the best setting uh, so the surface finish is, is quite okay and uh, I'm printing now uh, a small print uh, with 100% uh, uh, infill to see if the if if I get a more clear uh, clear print because this is the infill is, is showing through the the surface in this model. So. Uh, gonna see if if that finished but uh, after some tweaking I got this filament to work uh, I wasn't uh, sure I would be able to make a, a good print with a sample I got but I think with this one I, I got it working Yeah, so this was uh, like a quick uh, uh, view of, of the two filaments I tested out so far from the maker box. Um, the the Hi-Fi Blue filament is definitely the favorite filament I've tried out so far. And uh, the Crystal Flex was difficult to, to get to work, but uh, after adjusting the settings and uh, having the enclosure uh, closed and, and the temperature now in the enclosure is reaching 45 degrees so I think a closure on the heated bed is necessary for the form, form Futura Crystal Flex filament uh, but uh, this will uh, be saved in the, in the slicer settings so if I get those filaments at a later time uh, I know the settings for them so my plan is to create a short videos like this of two or three filaments each time and go through the make box so i did an unboxing video uh, just two days ago from the make box where i showed all the filaments but i wanted to do some test prints and and just tell you about my process on dialing in the filaments so for now uh, this will be the end so thank you for watching and see you in the next one